JMP with you, and it is time once again to talk to our friends from the Palm Beach Health Network Physician Group, and uh, in studio right now, uh, a very talented uh, foot and ankle surgeon. Uh, he's on staff at the Paley Orthopedic and Spine Institute, as well as St. Mary's Medical Center uh, in West Palm Beach, Dr. Bradley Lamb. And a lot of things to, uh, to talk to Dr. Lamb about uh, in terms of the, wor the world of foot injuries, and Dr. Lamb, appreciate uh, having you with us. And, you know, one of the things that uh, we were talking about before going on the air um, is pretty gruesome inner, uh, injury that happened uh, a, a couple weeks ago. Dolphins, Titans, and, you know, maybe not, uh, you know, necessarily a household name, Michael Pruitt, but um, suffered a fractured, dislocated ankle. Um could you give us some insight, obviously, you know, from, from just your seeing that type of injury, uh, kind of what he went through and, um, you know, what that entails? Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks for having me, first off. Uh, this is great great to be here, and I appreciate the opportunity. Um, yeah, definitely a fracture dislocation is uh, a big deal because not only do you have fractured bones of the ankle, but you're also going to have uh, the joint is out of alignment or uh, shifted. And so this is uh, an issue, not just a bone issue, but it tends to be also, uh, you know, ligaments uh, injured. And then on top of all that is the soft tissue swelling and the, uh, the skin, which uh, seems to be the less talked about issue, but can be one of the most uh, problematic issues with this type of injury. Um, it, uh, and that's something that's interesting that you said there about the soft tissue, and we hear about soft tissue injuries a lot in sports. Is that, from a long-term standpoint, in some cases, the the biggest concern or the biggest thing that you know a football player watches for is not necessarily the the surgery, but the the soft tissue after? Yeah. So bone usually heals in four to six weeks, and you know it's our job as you know foot and ankle surgeons to repair and place the bones in the right position far as uh, plates and screws and pins, but um, most importantly, as you mentioned, uh, because of the high demands on the ankle and leg, uh, the, the player has to have strong and well-repaired soft tissue, so uh, that is definitely an important part of it, and that's uh, typically uh, ascertained with MRI and you know, uh, advanced imaging type studies uh, prior to repair. So what is the recovery time normally like for a, a you know, fractured ankle or dislocate, dislocated ankle? Yeah, so typically it's about six weeks for bone healing and soft tissue healing as well as ligamentous healing. But then the other uh, concern is, of course, uh, rehab and uh, you know, return to play, return to field uh, time, which can be uh, somewhat longer depending on uh, their recovery uh, regimen. Talking with Dr. Bradley Lamb, Palm Beach Health Network Physician Group, a foot and ankle surgeon. Um, so, you know, you offer a lot of care. We mentioned St. Mary's and also the Paley Orthopedic and Spine Institute. Uh, by the way, the website, paleyinstitute.org. Um, so what are some of the most common foot and ankle uh, treatments that, uh, you know, that you oversee or perform? Yeah, so uh, typically, just like any uh, sports injury fracture, uh, that's something that I do uh, and also uh, that we take care of at the Paley Orthopedic and Spine Institute. Uh, but we do uh, unique orthopedic surgery as well, such as uh, limb lengthening. Uh, I do total ankle replacements. Uh, we do uh, uh, toe lengthenings. Uh, we do uh, limb salvage from infections to uh, save the limb and many other kind of unique procedures that, not, not are, not are, that are not typically performed in other institutes. So I, I, I'm somebody, and it's great having you here as, as an expert, because I, I know literally nothing about the you know, medical field and procedures. You say toe lengthening and, lib, and limb lengthening. Is that what it sounds like, that basically you can make your limbs longer? Because that's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. So there's... Um, uh, growing a bone to grow two inches of a limb longer uh, or uh, growing of the foot or toe uh, to be longer. Uh, these are typically, you know, birth defects or people that were in accidents or uh, injuries that, you know, left them with 
a bone that's either crooked or, or short, and uh, we're a center that's known worldwide for that uh, treatment of uh, growing bone and lengthening limbs and, and toes. Um, also, I understand, um, you know, this is a big thing that you have a lot of experience in. Uh, what is joint distraction? Yeah, great question. So uh, just as you mentioned, when these athletes have these uh, bad ankle fractures, dislocations, the, the, the concern also is the cartilage that is uh, involved with these injuries, that you get kind of these uh, bone bumping against bone type injuries, and it can wear the cartilage off, shear the cartilage, or even damage the cartilage like a bruise, say like a, a peach falls off the table, it gets a bruise. So uh, these cartilaginous injuries can be the long-term downside of these uh, bad sprains and breaks of the, uh, the lower limb. And so uh, preserving the joint is something that uh, I do uh, a lot of that type of work, uh, not only for the ankle, but the great toe joint, two joints that are really important when it comes to uh, athletes and uh, keeping, uh, keeping them on the, on the field. So these are specialty techniques where we try to uh, grow new cartilage, heal the bone under the cartilage, um, and even uh, preserve the joint so somebody doesn't have to have a joint replacement or, or a joint fusion down the road. Um, obviously, you know, a lot of procedures uh, and surgeries that we're talking about, uh, we happen to be in the middle of, you know, a, another spike uh, in terms of Omicron and COVID-19. Um, so in, in terms of just, you know, the, the elective surgeries, um, how is that going in terms of that? And any, you know, sort of messages that, that you want to throw out? Yeah, so I think it's important, just like with these athletes we're talking about, they you know, they're going right to the hospital, right to the uh, uh, surgeon to get fixed if needed and evaluated. I think that's true with anybody with any ailment. You got to uh, seek, seek out a doctor and, and get treatment. Um, it can be worse, the uh, condition, or the condition can worsen if you don't get it checked out. So even with the uh, uh, COVID um, numbers going up again with this uh, newer wave, um, it is important to see your doctor and get evaluated. And at uh, St. Mary's Medical Center and the Palm Beach Children's Hospital, we're we're here for you. Uh, we can we can take care of you. This is something where, of course, people are getting tested before entering, and and uh, we're doing elective surgeries still, uh, as long as you know patients are uh, without the uh, the virus and everything's running smooth. But uh, don't don't neglect care. That's uh, really important. Uh, you know, for of course athletes, but also everybody out there. Uh, Dr. Lamb, how can we get in touch with you? Yeah, so I'm at the uh, Paley Orthopedic and Spine Institute right here in West Palm Beach. Uh, I am uh, part of the uh, St. Mary's Medical Center in the Palm Beach Children's Hospital on 45th Street uh, right here in West Palm Beach. Uh, my uh, number to reach me is uh, 561-844-5255. Again, that's 561-844-5255. Uh, and uh, you can reach me at the Paley Institute. I appreciate the opportunity. Dr. Lamb, thank you so much. Thank you.